Chapter 7 In a foul mood, Shankas lagged behind the didact, riser, and me as we hiked along the outer shore, following one of the new trails blazed by the sphinxes, which were indeed acting as excavators, apparently to the surprise of the didact as well. In truth, he seemed more often dismayed than in control of his surroundings, more often confused than enlightened by what we found. He had no explanation for the reshaping of the central peak. I am lost here, he said, as we looked over the outer lake of Jamankin Crater. He studied the wallowing Merce. He found a low boulder and sat again in that contemplative posture that also seemed to reveal exhaustion. No one can tell me why I am not still in timeless peace. In exile, I said. He glowered. Yes, exile. Forced to retreat for speaking truth, tactical and strategic wisdom. Useless against the bold assertions of the master builder. He stopped himself. But those matters are not for the ears of a manipular. Tell me, are the weapons finished? Have they been used? I told him I knew nothing of weapons. That means little. As a manipular, you have no need to understand your greater circumstances. Worse, however, you apparently focus on personal gain and treasure, precursor artifacts. No doubt you seek the organon. His words stabbed deep, not just because they were true. I am honest to my goals. I seek diversion, I said. Excuses for adventure are means to an end, I quoted. You are what you dare. I, uh, the didact murmured, shaking his great head. So I told her once, and she's chided me with it ever since. He looked out over the lake and the clear, cloudless morning sunrise. A breeze sallied from the west into the crater's wide bowl and dappled the blue waters, eliciting circlets of foam from agitated merce. Ugly, mean brutes, the didact observed. His rancor cooled. What ritual allowed you to come here without being attacked? I explained about humans and their wooden boats, powered by steam, but even then requiring soft, watery songs to cross safely. Humans making tools. Again. I have been well and cleverly hidden. No other forerunner would seek me here. Long time, Riser confirmed. He seemed comfortable around the didact, as if from instinct. I saw it clearly, a servant species favored for ages. No wonder Shakas was in a foul mood. His own instincts were likely either blank, long erased, or filled with much darker memories. Your cryptum killed any human who approached, I said. At least any stupid human. A selection process, the didact said. But there was a safe way in, partly. Someone made a puzzle that would stick in the human imagination, so humans came time and again and sacrificed themselves, and the survivors erected walls and laid pebbles to show the way. Someone wanted you to be found when the time was right. This seemed to sink the didact into deeper gloom. Then it is almost over, he said. All we have tried to do as inheritors of the mantle, all that will be violated, and the galaxy will be murdered because they do not understand. He let out a grating sigh. Worse, it may already be loose. Join your human friends and sing sad songs, Manipular. There is judgment, and just doom is upon us all. It is what you all deserve, no more, Shaka said, throwing down a shred of palm. The Promethean paid him no attention.